Good evening. It's now 6 p.m. on Tuesday, January 4th, 2022. This meeting will come to order. Welcome to the 282nd Annual Reorganization Meeting of the Pequannock Township Council. In accordance with the requirements of New Jersey's Open Public Meetings Act, notice of this reorganization meeting was filed in the Office of the Township Clerk, posted on the bulletin board in the Municipal Building and on the Township website, and published as a legal notice in the Suburban Trends newspaper. Please join me. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for a prayer and a moment of silence in honor of those who serve our nation. Pledge of Allegiance. States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Most gracious province, we ask that you bless this governing body with an abundance of wisdom and understanding, so that every deliberation will result in actions which will promote the common good and the general welfare for all the people of the Quantic Township. Amen. Um, before we continue, I'd like to welcome our visiting dignitaries. Senator Kristen Carrado is here. Um, Morris County Sheriff Jim Gannon. Morris County Clerk um, Ann Grassi. Um, State Republican Chair Laura... Sorry, Ollie. Ollie. And the State Committee, Committee Member Larry Tasha. Did I miss anybody? Would any of you like to say a few words? I'd like to say uh, good evening. It's great to be in the mother of Morris County, right? All the clients, the mother of Morris County. And uh, it's just great to see the leadership team that you have here and uh, great management. And uh, a special shout out to the public safety. You know, police, fire, and EMS are, are uh, second to none. I see the chief here and um, the people of his department, and it's just great to work alongside them uh, in certain major events and things like that. And I just wish you a great 2022. Thank Thanks for Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Anyone else? All right, first the roll call. Mr. Dreesey? Present. Mrs. Florence Lynch? Here. Mr. Hurd is unable to join us this evening, but he sends his regards. Mr. Cole? Here. Mrs. Russell? Here. Required quorum being present to conduct formal action. The first order of business this evening is the selection of a member of the Township Council to serve as mayor for the year 2022. Is there a motion from the council? I'd like to nominate Melissa Florence Lynch for mayor. Is there a second? I'll second. Are there any other nominations for mayor? Hearing none, is there any discussion? There being no discussion on the motion to elect Councilwoman Florence Lynch as mayor for the year 2022. Mr. Dreesey? Yes. Mrs. Florence Lynch? Yes. Thank Mr. you. <laughs> Mr. Cole? Yes. Mrs. Russell? Yes. Congratulations. <laughs> of the United States, the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, that I will bear true faith, that I will bear true faith, and allegiance, and allegiance, to the same, to the same, and to the governments, and to the governments, established in the United States, established in the United States, and in this state, and in this state, under the authority of the people, <clears throat> under the authority of the people, and that I will faithfully, and I will faithfully, impartially, impartially, and justly perform, and justly perform, all the duties, all the duties, of the office of, of the office of, Pequannock Township Mayor, Pequannock Township Mayor, according to the best of my ability, according to the best of my ability, so help me God, so help me God. Congratulations. Yay. Thank you very much. Do you want me to sign for 
I just wanted to take a moment to say a few words. Uh, first, I'd like to thank uh, my fellow council members in selecting me to serve as mayor uh, this year. I am honored to serve with each of you and uh, honored to represent the council and our town residents. Know that we are all here uh, to represent all, all, all of you. And please know any resident can reach out to any of us at any time to answer questions and listen to your concerns. If you don't mind, I'm going to take this off. <clears throat> I am so proud of our town and our residents. We do have the best community around. I know everyone says that about their town, but we really do. <laughs> um, it's all of us as a community that makes Papuanic such a great place to want to live and raise a family. Uh, and we've had a, a rough couple of years. Um, just when we felt like we were seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, in regards to COVID, the rate of transmission in New Jersey has increased uh, to 1.41. That means each person is passing a virus to at least one other person. Uh, please keep that in mind and be smart when coming in contact with others. We will get through this together. Um, as you probably all know, there was discussion about do we have this ceremony inside or outside. We felt that if, if most people that wanted to come, you know, wore their masks, did social distancing, we'd be okay. And if you weren't comfortable coming, we understand. So thank you for those that have done that. Um, I want to thank our employees and our town rep volunteers. Um, you are all so awesome and so dedicated to serving the residents of this town. I also want to thank our town manager, uh, Adam Brewer, for steering our ship. <laughs> and our attorney, uh, Bob Ostyke, for all your guidance that you give the council. Um, and I want to thank our clerk, Carol Marsh, oh, thank you. and our deputy clerk, who's not here today, um, uh, Michelle Dorenzo Liberto. And thank you to our wonderful police department. I know so many of you came out today. Thank you. And um, thank you for keeping us safe. Our fire department and first aid squad um, are second to none. I would also like to thank our residents who serve in the health care industry. You guys are all true heroes to us. And thank you, um, Senator Corrado, for coming out today and administering the oath. I'm truly honored. And I love serving our community. I'll continue to represent all the residents of Chronic to the best of my ability. And I wish all of you a happy and healthy and prosperous new year. So thank you. Now we're going to do the selection of deputy mayor is the next order of business. Um, so can I have a motion um, to, uh, from a member to nominate? I'd like um, to nominate Dave mayor. Cole for the position of deputy mayor for 2022. Is there a second? I'll second. Are there any other nominations? <coughs> any discussion? There being none, the clerk will please call the roll. On the motion to select Councilman Cole as Deputy Mayor, Mr. Dreesey? Yes. Mr. Cole? Yes. Mrs. Russell? Yes. Mayor Florence Lynch? Yes. All right, we can please administer the oath to our Deputy Mayor. I'm going to have my son Ben and his new fiance come up. <laughs> 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 
I'm not going to get up and speak. I can, uh, my voice can carry pretty well. So I just wanted to thank everyone for being here. Um, I have friends from fourth grade, uh, friends from, you know, the Boys and Girls Club that are here, my family, elected officials that I think highly of uh, that are here, uh, our police department, uh, you guys are second to none. Uh, I have representation from the fire department. I'm serving as liaison for the fire department, so I appreciate Ed, you being here. I know Company 2 wanted to be here, but they couldn't. Uh, appreciate all the guys from DPW. I mean, Laquanic has always been a great town to grow up in, uh, to live in, to raise a family in, uh, even in, in to work at. So we, we are going to strongly uh, push that it stays the same way uh, for all the residents and employees of Laquanic Township. So we're, I'm grateful that uh, the guys uh, thought, you know, highly of me to appoint me again for uh, this is my third term as deputy mayor, so uh, greatly appreciated, and uh, I look forward to serving the township of Aquanic and all its residents. So thank you again, and thank you for being here. Happy New Year, stay safe, and God bless.
The next order of business um, will be appointments by the Township Council. Um, the appointments are listed on the agenda, and they are items 7A through 7 double X. Um, rather than having to read uh, every name and every appointment, we're just going by letters, if everybody's okay with that. Is there any discussion on the appointments? From council members? <coughs> Can I have a motion from the council to approve the appointments? I'll make a motion to approve the appointments from 7A to 7 double X. I'll second. Roll call, please. Mr. Dreesey? Yes. Mr. Cole? Yes. Mrs. Russell? Yes. Mayor Florence Lynch? Yes. All right, next order of business is the designation of township council liaisons for 2022. <coughs> And the proposed liaison assignments are listed on the agenda, and those are listed as BA through BK. Um, is there any discussion on the designation from council members on, on those? Okay. Is there a motion to approve these designations? Um, I'll make the motion. Can I have a second? Okay, can I have a second? I'll second. Can I have a roll call? <coughs> Mr. Dreesey? Yes. Mr. Cole? Yes. Mrs. Russell? Yes. Mayor Florence Lynch? Yes. Okay, and the next item on the agenda is additional resolutions. Uh, the proposed resolutions are listed on the agenda as items 9A through 9X. <coughs> and are there any questions or comments on the resolutions from the council? All right. Um, can I make a motion? I'll make a motion to approve additional resolutions 9A through 9X. Can I have a second? I'll second. Roll call, please. Mr. Dreesey? Yes. Mr. Cole? Yes. Mrs. Russell? Yes. Mayor Florence Lynch? Yes. All right, um, and the next item on the agenda, uh, these are the announcements uh, of the mayor's appointments. So those um, appointments I will read. Um, for the Library Board of Trustees, uh, the mayor's designee for a one-year term will be Councilwoman Kyle Russell. Um, and a trustee for a five-year term will be Christina White. For the Planning Board, a Class II member um, who's the uh, liaison for environmental will be Ed Edward Lamoureux. For the Environmental Commission, we have a couple of appointments there. A regular member three-year term, Tom Andrea. Regular member three-year term, William Warner. Altern alternate uh, two um, will be Edward Lamoureux. Youth advisory member will be Jacob Golbeck. And the Environmental Commission chair will be uh, Thomas Newman. Okay, and I, I just, before I go on, I just wanted to recognize um, uh, our county surrogate, Heather Darling, who just walked in the room. Heather, thank you for coming. Okay. Uh, continuing with the appointments, um, the Shade Tree Commission. We have regular member with an unexpired five-year term uh, which expires uh, December 31st, 2024. That's filling an unexpired term. Leonard Smith, regular member for a five-year term, Forrest Harper. And then for the Morris County Community Development Revenue Sharing Committee, we have a regular member, one-year term, uh, myself, uh, Mayor Florence Lynch, alternate member, um, is Deputy Mayor Cole. All right, um, and the manager's appointments is the next item on the agenda. The manager's appointments for the uh, year 2022 are listed on the agenda. They're listed under item 11 on the agenda. There's no vote on these appointments. Um, and we're up to uh, public comment. The next item on our agenda is public comment. Individuals are requested to limit their comments to three minutes. If anyone wishes to address the council, just wait to be recognized. Come up to the microphone 
and give your name and address for the record. Is there anyone in the audience? <coughs> well, there being no further business, is there a motion to adjourn? I'll make that motion. And we have a second. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? And the meeting is adjourned at 621. Good job.